Dear congregation, today we embark on a profound exploration of consciousness, the essence of our being that connects us to the divine and illuminates the path of spiritual awakening. Through the timeless wisdom of scripture, we will delve into the depths of consciousness as revealed in the King James Version of the Bible, uncovering divine truths that shape our understanding of existence and our relationship with God. Divine Awareness, O Lord, Thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my down-sitting and mine uprising. Thou understandest my thought afar off. Thou compassest my path and my lying down, and art acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, Thou knowest it altogether. Psalm 139.14 KJV God's omniscience encompasses every aspect of our consciousness. He intimately knows our thoughts, words, and actions, revealing His divine awareness of our innermost being. As we acknowledge His intimate knowledge of us, we awaken to the depth of His presence in our lives. Renewing the mind, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12.2 KJV Spiritual consciousness involves the renewal of the mind, a transformation that aligns our thoughts with the will of God. As we immerse ourselves in His Word and surrender our minds to His truth, we experience a profound shift in consciousness, enabling us to discern His perfect will for our lives. Spiritual Perception But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Ephes Corinthians 2.14 True spiritual consciousness transcends worldly wisdom and human understanding. It requires spiritual discernment to perceive the truths of God's kingdom. Through the guidance of the Holy Spirit, we gain insight into spiritual realities that are hidden from the natural mind, deepening our spiritual consciousness. Unity with Christ. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Galatians 2.20 Spiritual consciousness involves a profound union with Christ, where His life becomes intertwined with ours. Through the indwelling presence of the Holy Spirit, we experience a divine communion that transcends earthly existence, awakening us to the reality of Christ living within us. Eternal Perspective While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. 2 Corinthians 4.18 True spiritual consciousness shifts our focus from the temporal to the eternal. It enables us to perceive reality through the lens of God's eternal kingdom, where the unseen realities hold greater significance than the transient affairs of this world. As we embrace an eternal perspective, we awaken to the eternal truths of God's word and his promises for our lives. Divine guidance, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Proverbs 3, 5 6, spiritual consciousness involves trusting in the Lord wholeheartedly and relying on his guidance in every aspect of our lives. As we surrender our understanding to him and acknowledge his sovereignty, he leads us along the path of righteousness, guiding us toward our divine purpose, walking in love. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and every one that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. 1 John 4, 7, 8 Spiritual consciousness is manifested in our love for one another. As we abide in God's love and allow His love to flow through us, we demonstrate our connection to Him and reflect His nature to the world. Through acts of kindness, compassion and forgiveness, we embody the love of God and bear witness to His transformative power in our lives. Bearing spiritual fruit, Galatians 5, 22, 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Galatians 5, 22, 23. Spiritual consciousness is evidenced by the fruit of the Spirit manifesting in our lives. As we yield to the Holy Spirit and allow Him to work within us, we bear fruit that reflects God's character and glorifies Him. By cultivating love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, 
we demonstrate our spiritual maturity and draw others to Christ, enduring faith. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11.1 1, Spiritual consciousness is grounded in enduring faith, a firm belief in the promises of God and the unseen realities of His kingdom. As we trust in God's faithfulness and remain steadfast in our convictions, we demonstrate our spiritual maturity and experience the fullness of His blessings. Through unwavering faith, we navigate life's challenges with confidence, knowing that God is faithful to fulfill His promises to those who believe. Surrender and Obedience I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12, 1, 2, spiritual consciousness involves surrendering our lives completely to God and aligning our will with His. As living sacrifices, we offer ourselves wholly to Him, allowing His Spirit to transform us from the inside out. By renewing our minds with His Word and rejecting the patterns of this world, we gain clarity and discernment to walk in obedience to His perfect will. Gratitude and contentment. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 Spiritual consciousness is marked by a heart of gratitude and contentment in all circumstances. As we cultivate a spirit of thanksgiving, we acknowledge God's sovereignty over our lives and trust in His provision. By recognizing His blessings, both big and small, we cultivate a sense of contentment that transcends external circumstances, anchoring our souls in His peace, empathy and compassion. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, Colossians 3.12 Spiritual consciousness extends beyond personal growth to encompass empathy and compassion for others. As vessels of God's love, we are called to demonstrate mercy, kindness, humility and patience towards those around us. By embodying these virtues, we reflect the heart of our Heavenly Father and extend His love to a hurting world. Eternal Perspective While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. 2 Corinthians 4.18 Spiritual consciousness entails fixing our eyes on the eternal realities of God's kingdom, rather than being consumed by the transient concerns of this world. By maintaining an eternal perspective, we gain clarity and perspective to navigate life's challenges with faith and hope, knowing that our ultimate citizenship is in heaven. In embracing these principles of spiritual consciousness, may we grow ever closer to God and experience the abundant life He has promised. May our hearts be attuned to His leading, our lives be a testimony to His grace, and our actions reflect the transformative power of His Spirit. As we walk in spiritual consciousness, may we shine as lights in a dark world, drawing others into the glorious truth of the Gospel. Amen.